20 minutes before 9 o'clock. Welcome back. Glad to have with us Charles Harris here, who is with uh, Harmony Turfgrass. Uh, it's a great company because it's going to tell us how we can get our grass back in shape during this time of summer. Charles, thanks for being with us here today. It's great to be here. It's great to be here. This is uh, interesting. I have always, maybe it's just a, uh, an old wives' tale or whatever, that during the summertime you just can't do anything with your grass. Well, I think the uh, the big thing is in Charlotte we're in the transition zone. So yes. you have warm season grasses and cool season grasses. The warm season grasses, they, they perform very well in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So we've got... Uh, a couple of those are out here. We've got a Zeon Zoysia right here mm -hmm. that does very well in the summertime. We've got a Tifran Bermuda grass very well in the summertime. They mm -hmm. grow uh, during the summer. They love the heat uh, and that kind of thing. Now, in the center here, you have tall fescue, which is a cool season grass. Mm -hmm. And it does not like the summer, but it thrives in the fall and the spring and the winter. So you have the transition zone here where we have a lot of different choices. So um, a lot of the things that I like to see people do is really pick the uh, the perfect area uh, the perfect use of the grass. So if you wanted to, for example, if you had a high traffic area that you were uh, going to have an event on or something mm -hmm. like that, you'd want to go to a Harmony Play type variety, which would be a Tiffgram Bermuda grass here mm -hmm. in the Charlotte area. Or if you had a low sunlight area uh, that was um, needed a little bit more um, sun, you would go to a more of a shade type variety, which is a tall fescue here mm -hmm. in, in the Charlotte market. Now. Uh, or if you just needed an all-around normal wear and tear type turf grass, you would go to our home varieties, which are would be a Zeon Zoysia over here in the in the Charlotte market. So it's really about what is the intended use of the space and finding the perfect grass for that, and that can really matches the cultivar up to the uh, intended use of the space. Mm -hmm. All right. it's simple to choose. What about during this time now? Can you be planting grasses? What what can we be doing now to enhance our lawns right now during this very hot part of summer? Yeah, right now, right now with the warm season grasses, these, they're actively growing. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, if you have uh, these grasses here, these new ones, they don't really require a whole lot of fertilizer, but you can fertilize these uh, currently. They're growing very well. Um, you know, one of the misnomers is that, you know, with turf grass, it only requires one inch of water per week. So there's only one inch of water per week that it needs, either by rainfall or by uh, supplemental irrigation. Mm -hmm. So one of the best things you can do with something like a tall fescue in the cool season uh, arena is just keep it keep it moist because it's really not its growing season. So it's going to get beat up. You really just have to kind of, you know, use that and keep it wet and keep it moist. And that's really the best thing to do waiting on fall. Um, that's kind of the uh, the best thing you can do. Now, if you are to uh, invest in a professional irrigation system mm -hmm. or something like that, uh, those systems have rain sensors. They have EVT sensors. You'll actually use a lot less water by doing that. Really? Um, and, and this time, uh, you know, this time of year. So those are, if you can afford that investment, that's a really good thing to do as well. All right. Charles Harris, thank you so much. Principal in Harmony Outdoor Brands, president of Byside, which uh, owns and operates nine turf farms in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia. Got a lot of experience listening to what this man says. And you all have a website too, I'm sure. We do. It's HarmonyBrands.com. HarmonyBrands.com for what you can do to help make sure your lawn looks its best. Charles, thank you so much for being with us. Great to be here. And Thanks. it is going to be hot if you're working out in the yard there today, isn't it, Al? No doubt about that, John. 